This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Hello everyone, I'm Marley Oxenome from Pentester Academy TV and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. Today, I will be speaking with the company Ativo Networks. I'm sitting down right now with Joseph Salazar, who is going to walk us through the analysis functions of BotSync. Take it away, Joseph. Thank you. So, the very first thing that you see when you first log on to the BotSync is this dashboard. Now, the dashboard is really cool because it gives you a lot of really quick information in a very compact and easy to digest manner. So, the left hand side is telemetry on the BotSync, essentially what's happening there right now. Mm -hmm. The right side is the most recent set of events. And then the middle part really is where you do a lot of your analysis. So, we break down the events by attack phase, severity, and time. Now, the reason we do that is because anal uh, analysts tend to prefer one over the other, and they have certain techniques and certain ways that they do analysis. Okay. So we try to break down the information in such a way that they can focus very specifically, very quickly on the things that they're looking for. Because part of our goal is to accelerate the incident response. I, mm -hmm. I've been in uh, IT security for 20 years, and most of it was incident response. Mm -hmm. And so I appreciate any time someone gives me a tool that makes me uh, faster at my job. Yep. So um, let's look at the attack phase bit. Each of these is um, a specific phase in an attack, right? Mm -hmm. So either they're conducting reconnaissance, trying to access, uh, conducting man in the middle attack, doing an exploit, dropping a payload, uh, doing communications to command and control, or uh, using the deceptive credentials, stolen credentials. Mm -hmm. But you notice as I'm going through this, each of these is being highlighted. Um, these are actually all um, live uh, elements. So you can oh, click on this. Okay. So, if, so let's say I want to look at all of the... Uh, access activity. Mm -hmm. So I can immediately go to the access activity and see what's oh, happening wow. on uh, in a time lapse um, uh, view. Mm -hmm. So um, right now this for example is an attacker, this system, mm -hmm. talking to this target which is our, uh, our Active Directory uh, domain controller on inside the deception environment which is Windows 2008. Mm -hmm. And if you look all of the details that are necessary are in the description. So I can wow. look through this and I can see, and, and obviously some of this is test traffic, so I can close this and go to, let's look at uh, reconnaissance activity. So here's some more information mm -hmm. uh, in terms of look at the time, the timestamps, you can see when things are happening, and as I click on each of these individual elements, you get the events filtered specifically for that element. Wow. Now, if I decide that I want to look at things by severity, I want to see all the very highs. Mm -hmm. Same thing, right? So here's a, a deceptive credential. So whoever Kaylin Reyes now is, that's a fake, uh, fake username and password, mm -hmm. that uh, credential was used to connect to the Active Directory environment. And uh, with something like our SCADA, you know, you'd normally see a lot of the SCADA uh, uh, logins mm -hmm. showing up here, which is being tar uh, targeting our SCADA uh, VM, again, mm -hmm. full operating system. So if I look at any of these elements, I can choose to do the analysis very quickly, and they pop out, and I can look at the, the uh, events and the attacks in a format that I'm comfortable with. Mm -hmm. But what's really cool about this is that if I decide to, say, take response actions immediately on one of these attackers, say uh, .125, 2.125. Okay. From this view, it takes two clicks, and I can quarantine somebody. What? Using any of the integrations we've got configured, within two clicks, from just looking at the information on the dashboard, uh -huh. I can quarantine somebody. Say, I can use a, Rubik, a Rubik clear pass and deauth them from the network and kick them off completely. Wow. Or I can add a rule to the Palo Alto firewall to prevent any kind of north-south connections uh, or internal segmentations mm -hmm. uh, to prevent that uh, IP from, from crossing any of those firewalls. I so can it's that, that easy. It's then. that easy. Wow. That's okay. the idea. Again, speeding up incident response, right? So you don't want to take a half hour to respond to an incident yeah. that is moving fast in your environment, right? So part of the things that, one of the things that we can do is we can actually take specific alerts and specify whether they're going to be auto-blocked or not. Okay. And then if you want to go even further and use threat ops, 
you can specify the entire uh, workbook workflow. So if you're getting ransomware, you want to do the immediate investigation and identify all the systems that could potentially be infected, uh, add the blocking rules so that they get kicked off the network so mm -hmm. they can't spread, um, and then uh, do the, the uh, remediation. But one of the cool things that we do with ransomware is that we'll actually have this technology called Feed the Beast, okay. where we'll feed it fake data as it tries to encrypt, and so it slows down the attack. So we'll throttle the network connection to the decoy uh -huh. and feed it data so it never actually completes and moves on to the next target. Wow, very cool. So okay. um, when we're looking at the events like this, right, so I can look at all the events that are happening on the bot that we've detected. So, mm -hmm. you know, oh, as, as a whole, see, it, okay. So, so this is a timeline view of every event alert that's medium or higher because you don't generally want to see anything lower than a medium. Yep. And you can see that, that uh, the eighth was rather... Uh, um, yeah, there's a spike there. Yeah, I there's see. a spike there. So there's a lot of activity. Then there was some uh, activity on uh, late on the sixth and early on the seventh. So there was a lot of activity going on. We were doing some testing, and mm -hmm. we decided to play around in the environment. Okay. But here's what's really cool. Say I want to see this in a time lapse format, and I can replay every single bit of activity. So this is all the activity that's shown up. Well, I can move the timeline and take them all away, and then as I play it back, you'll see when certain systems get on the net, uh, on the network and when they start to talk. Wow, I love the visual representation for this as well. Again, a lot of analysts are, are visual, mm -hmm. so they want to see, they don't necessarily want to look at tables and Just data, they want to see patterns. Yeah. But here's the really cool part. Every single one of these colored components um, corresponds to a level of an alert. Mm -hmm. So these red alerts are really high. So I can hover over the element and I can read oh. everything that happened for that particular mm -hmm. alert for that specific activity. I can pull one specific attacker out and one specific system and I can see exactly what that guy did. Mm -hmm. So this guy was doing uh, port scans in the recon phase. Uh, he scanned our SCADA VM uh, at the target IP of uh, 4.44 mm -hmm. from the attacker IP of 4.254. Wow. And I can see all that immediately just by hovering over the, the connection element. So again, this is all part of speeding up that incident response. We mm -hmm. want to make sure that uh, your analysts can respond very quickly and make decisive actions, take decisive actions without having to go through other tools and leverage other things and, and, and take a uh, five minute investigation and make yep. it a half hour. Yeah. So that's the whole goal. Wonderful. Joseph, this was really cool. Thank you so much for sure. showing me. Absolutely. All right, and that's all the time we have for today. So make sure to tune in next time for another episode of Access Point. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.